Bienvenidos and welcome. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ is risen. Cristo resucitó. Our presider today is Father Michael. We are so grateful to all of you who came to be with us in person during our Holy Week and Easter celebrations. They were all beautiful and even more so because so many of you that came back to Mass for the first time in over a year. Welcome home to all of you, and we can't wait to see you again. For those that are still waiting, we miss you and pray that we'll be together again very soon. <clears throat> Our next Adult Faith Formation series takes place next Friday evening, April 16th, and our speaker will be our very own Charlie Martinez. Be sure to get the Zoom info you'll need from the website. We hope you can join us. On this day of divine mercy, we pause and take a deep breath in, aware of the gift of life that God has given us. In the silence, we offer our own intentions for this Mass, and for the intentions of all members of law enforcement and their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Together we rise, greeting those around you and with you, and join in singing our opening song. As we gather, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday. So let us ask God to be with us, so that we may be merciful as our Heavenly Father is merciful. So let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which will be sprinkled on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. Almighty, our living God, who willed that through water, the fountain of life and the source of purification, even souls should be cleansed and receive the gift of eternal life. Be pleased, we pray, to bless this water by which we seek protection on this your day, O Lord. 
renew the living spring of your grace within us and grant that by this water we may be defended from all ills of spiritual spirit and body and so approach you with hearts made clean and worthily receive your salvation through Christ our lord amen, amen. wounded people living in a wounded world worshiping a wounded yet risen and glorified god our hearts become the home for our greatest hopes the simple the everyday becomes holy on this divine mercy sunday we are reminded that god pours mercy into our wounds and we are made whole through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen lectura del libro de los hechos de los apóstoles la multitud de los que habían creído tenía un solo corazón y una sola alma todo lo poseían en común y nadie consideraba suyo nada de lo que tenía. Con gran muestras de poder, los apóstoles daban testimonio de la resurrección del Señor Jesús y todos gozaban 
de gran estimación entre el pueblo. Ninguno pasaba necesidad, pues los que poseían terrenos o casas los vendían y llevaban el dinero y lo ponían a disposición de los apóstoles. Y luego se distribuía según lo que necesitaba cada uno. Palabra de Dios. letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Still believe, 
Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I sent you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Tidimus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now, a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to them, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. A priest was forced by a police officer to pull over for speeding. As the officer was about to write the ticket, the priest said to him, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. The police officer handed the priest the ticket and said, Go and sin no more. The second Sunday of Easter, we celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday. Today, we are reminded that Jesus gave his spirit to the church, enabling it to be a forgiving community. Every year, we have a same gospel in the second Sunday of Easter, and we call it the gospel of Doubting Thomas. And as we reflect today's gospel, we find two things for us to reflect. The first one is spirit to mission. First, when Jesus came to visit the disciples, he gave them peace, not like the world gives, but his own peace. Then he gives them the gift of the Spirit, which coming from the Father and who will teach them everything and remind them of what 
Jesus had said. Then he breathed on them and gives them the mission to forgive and to love and build the church. The story, it goes like this. Two friends were walking through the desert. During some point of their journey, they had some kind of argument. And one friend slapped the other one in the face. The one who got slapped was hurt, but without saying anything, wrote in the sand, today my best friend slapped me in the face. They kept on walking until they found an oasis where they decided to take bath. The one who had, had been slapped got struck in the deep mud and started drowning. But the friend saved him. After the friend recovered from the near drowning, he wrote on the stone, Today my best friend saved my life. The friend who had slapped and saved his best friend asked him, After I hurt you, you wrote in the sand, and now you write on a stone. Why? The other friend re replied, When someone hurts you, we should write it down in, in sand, where the winds of forgiveness can erase it away. But when someone does something good for us, we must engrave it in stone where no wind can ever erase it. Let us learn to write our hurts, hurts in the sand and to curve our benefits in stone. The Lord has given us his spirit to transform us and become disciples of peace and forgiveness. He has given us opportunity to become like him to our wrongdoers, transgressors, and offenders. So let us reflect with the words of Mother Teresa. She says, People are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. The second thing we see that believe in Jesus. We have Thomas who saw Jesus and he believed. Jesus offers Thomas his very presence to see, but what is significant is that Thomas confessed, my Lord and my God, apparently without placing his hands into Jesus' side. His faith is complete and total. So let us believe the risen Lord and ask God to strengthen our faith that culminates in self-surrender to God and that leads us to serve those we encounter with love. Living faith enables us to see the risen Lord in everyone and gives us the unwillingness to render to each one our loving service. The spiritual fathers prescribe the following traditional means to grow in the living and dynamic faith of St. Thomas the Apostle. The first one we must come to know Jesus personally and intimately by our daily and meditative reading of the Bible. Second one, we must strengthen our faith through our personal and community prayer. Third, we must share in the divine life of Jesus 
by frequenting the sacrament, sacrament of reconciliation and the Holy Eucharist. Once again, Mother Teresa says, if we pray, we will believe. If we believe, we will love. If we love, we will serve. Only then we put our love of God into action. So my dear brothers and sisters, as we are celebrating this Holy Eucharist, let us believe in Jesus, the risen Lord, so that that strong faith in Jesus may lead us to forgive one another, to love one another. May God bless us. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Like the early church, we gather to pray for all who are in need. May all who are sick experience the comforting touch of the Spirit. Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. For us, that we may be transformed through our encounters with the living Christ and be instruments of healing and forgiveness in our broken world. For our new Catholics that entered the church this Easter, that they may continue their journey of faith and inspire us all to be more focused on our own faith journey. For all whose lives and faith are challenged by lack of employment, lack of money, lack of food, and lack of hope. For Christians throughout the world be of one heart and mind as they live and share the love and mercy proclaimed by Jesus. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Alleluia. 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 Quietly, let us take time to reflect on our own personal needs. Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord, we remember all those who have died and all of those who miss them. Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Loving God, we trust in you. Thank you for answering our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. From your heart flows a fount of endless grace, fire of love. However great the sin, mercy rushes in. You will never fail me, Jesus. I trust in you.
through this veil of tears, searching for your love. Faith lifts our eyes, can there be more? Unexpected, undeserved mercy, I am. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands. Praise and praise and glory of His name for our good and good of all His holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of Your people and of those You have brought to You new birth. that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain unending happiness through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we'll lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you o lord but on this day above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life that for overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim Santo, Santo, Santo es el Señor. Heaven and earth are full of Your glory. Hosanna in the cielo. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered. That for our Lord. We humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecrations that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving it thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it." for this is the chalice of my blood 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the appellation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to conform in faith and charity your, your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter on my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. Let us pray together. Jesus, lover of my soul, I love you, I believe in you, and I want to receive you into the depths of my being. 
Humbly I come to you, knowing that I am in need of your transforming love. Help me to be more like Mary, letting your will be done in my life. Empower me to live my faith like the saints who inspire me, those holy men and women who pray for me on my journey. Because I cannot receive you in the Holy Eucharist, I open my heart and soul to you now, receiving you and welcoming you in a mystical and spiritual way. Fill me with your love, O Lord. I place my trust in you and give you permission to work in me as you please. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus Christ, you meet us here just as we are, even though your hands still have holes in them, and even though our world still shows signs of imperfection, you choose to walk with us. We fail to understand how and puzzle at the reason why, but you have come not to answer our questions, but to reveal your face to us and through us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 Cristo Jesús resucitó Tantas naciones al Señor Porque la muerte derrotó Cuando no era nuestro Redentor Que con vos un Salvador El Redentor de humanidad Y en el confío su Señor caridad Aleluya Aleluya Buen gusto es el Señor Aleluya Aleluya Compasivo es nuestro Dios Cristo Jesús resucitó Tantas naciones al Señor Porque la muerte derrotó Honor a nuestro Redentor Con gozo salvador La red de la humanidad